many of you guys know me from this channel, which is Play Creatively, and my other channel with Worship Leader Hangout. And you know me for talking about gospel and CCM and how to apply gospel concepts to Christian contemporary music. Well, many of you guys do not know this, but I have a deep love for neo soul, jazz, hip hop, lo fi stuff. I don't even know what to call it. I just love it so much. I remember first listening to it back in college and the first person I heard was Robert Glasper and Jay Dilla stuff and it was so inspiring and quite frankly this genre is where I'm most at home at. Like I feel like if there were a genre that I would want to keep pursuing and be known for as an artist this would be it. Anyway today we are talking about three easy lo-fi chords that you could apply to your playing today. Enough of this talking from me, let's get right to the lesson. So the first chord that we are looking at is D over E, okay? And so here we have D major in the right hand and E in the left. And the second chord we are looking at is E major over F sharp. And then the third chord we are looking at is D in the right hand over B. Okay. Now, these are certainly uh, simple ways of playing these chords, but Really, I'm thinking about them in terms of being an E minor 11, an F sharp minor 11, and then a B minor 9. And when I'm thinking about them in, in a more fuller context, I'm really looking at a chord which is a D major over an E minor, and then an, F sh an E major over F sharp minor. And then here I have a D major chord in my right hand, but I'm playing a B7, uh, I'm omitting the third in my left, okay? And then I'm just playing them for two beats each. Uh, sorry. And that last one I'm playing for four, so one, two, three, four. Now, something that I'm doing that is, I consider it a turnaround, I guess, or like a passing chord going back to that E minor 11 chord is I'm playing this really a B over a D sharp, and then I'm expanding the chord a bit. So I'm adding a nine here, and then I'm playing an D sharp, B, and D sharp in my left hand, or B second inversion, all right? So you get something like this. I just like this genre so much. Oh my goodness. You guys have no idea, believe me. All right, well, hey, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like content like this, hey, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I actually created a track, like a, like a beat to just practice on a couple of years ago. And so if you want access to that, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll shoot a couple of you guys this beat for free. Well, until next time, remember this. Keep watching, keep learning, and we'll keep growing together. I'll see you next time. I'll play this just for fun.